scientists are already hard at work developing microscopic medical devices known as nanobots. In the deep future, these tiny robots will be injected directly into our bloodstreams. And they'll be able to repair our cells from the inside. They'll be able to reverse the telomere cycle from fraying. Nanobots will eventually be so effective at curing disease and even genetic mutations that we'll never get sick and we'll never get old. Imagine little robots are able to go into your cells, look for problems, and actually correct them. We really believe that nanotechnology might be the future for treating a lot of our ailments that we've been unable to treat using conventional therapies. Those tools is something that is in our future. It's just a matter of when, not if. As it is right now, you can get your Botox and your butt lift and just look like Giselle, even though you started out, you know, looking like a, uh, some sort of a frog. Forget facelifts and knee replacements. In the far future, nanobots will be able to heal a gunshot wound or treat the very first cell of a lethal infection. And even as we speak, scientists are using nanotechnology to help treat disease more effectively than ever before. Now I know what you're thinking, but let's be clear. When we say nanobots, we're not talking about little C-3PO's. They'll be made of something organic so the body won't reject them. And a precursor to these future bots is already being developed. It's a kind of messenger cell that delivers life-saving drugs directly to the cells that need it. The first step is just getting particles of medicine that small. What we can see here is a reaction that we've created in the lab that can make nanoparticles of selenium. In larger amounts, mineral selenium is toxic, but at the nanoscale, selenium can treat cancer. Scientists inject these tiny amounts of selenium into special synthetic immune cells that are capable of delivering it to the precise place in the body that needs it. So if there's a mutation in a cell that might be cancerous, we deliver selenium to that cell to kill it. You can use this as a, a mechanism to selectively kill unwanted cells in your body. There's no fundamental law of physics that says that our bodies have to decay if we're constantly repairing them. When you have nanobots coursing through your blood, continuously repairing everything back to its original condition, ultimately that's the end point of medicine. The end point of medicine, that is huge. It'll be a transformative day in the history of humanity. I see advertisements promising a glorious extended future and 10-year vacations being marketed and new properties and 